Hi, I am Bruce Busby, President of Roots Magic, and in this short video, we're going to talk a little bit about how you can create a health history for a person or for people in your Roots Magic file. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to open up Mary's edit screen, and on the edit screen, we have a menu on the side, and one of the new menu items in Roots Magic 10 is called Health. And when I select that Health page, I am provided with a list or a place to create a list of all the health conditions for Mary in this case. And so let's go ahead and add one. I'm going to click the little Add button. And the first thing Roots Magic wants to know is what category or what is the general condition that I'm going to add. Now this is a standardized list of health conditions and as you move through each one over here on the right it's going to show you what that particular category or condition entails. So for example cancer would include cancers, leukemia, neoplasms and so on. Uh, cardiovascular would, would include health disease, hypertension, things like that. Congenital anomalies, that would be things like Down syndrome, cleft lip, uh, things like that, uh, and so on. So we have diabetes, digestive diseases, ear condition, endocrine blood and immune disorders, eye conditions, infectious and parasitic disease, injuries and accidents. Now this is an important one because your health history is not limited to just times you were sick, when you have an, an injury or suffer an accident, those are also very important parts of your health history. We also have mental health, musculoskeletal diseases, neurological, nutritional deficiency, oral disease, that can be teeth, tongue, anything of the mouth, renal and urogenital, Reproductive health and childbirth, respiratory diseases, sexual health, skin disease, and other. Now, other is kind of a catch-all. As I mentioned, this is a standardized list, and most of the time, anything that you're going to enter is going to fall into one of those categories. But if you encounter a situation where you don't feel like it fits into one of those, you can use other as kind of a catch-all condition or category for it. So let's go ahead and add a, let's add an eye condition. So I'm going to select that. Roots Magic adds this default eye condition. And over here, I can now edit that eye condition to tell you or to tell Roots Magic what the specific eye condition is. So I might just say macular degeneration. Now, you know, this could be blindness. It could be uh, glaucoma, it could be cataracts, any number of things. So that's where the details is just a little short, short, brief message to explain what the specific condition or health condition is. You have the onset date. Uh, we'll just put 1900. But the onset date does not have to be just a single date. It can be a date range. So if you have a particular illness, you can say this person had this health condition, this disease or whatever from this date to this date. So it's the full, it's a regular old Roots Magic date so that you can enter it in uh, any of those formats that Roots Magic supports. You also have a health note. As I mentioned, the details is supposed to be just a little short. Uh, kind of a description of what the health condition is, but the health note is where you can add paragraphs or pages of details about this specific condition that the person had. So this could be, this condition came on slowly, whatever, whatever it is you want to put in, you can enter uh, pretty much as much as you want for that health note. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that, and I now have this health condition entered for Mary. And now I can go and I can enter as many different health conditions as I'd like. So this could have hundreds of them if the person was particularly unhealthy. You could have, you could have a whole, whole bunch of uh, health conditions. If this list gets fairly long, you can sort it by clicking on the header on any of these columns. So I could sort it by 
the condition. I could sort it by the actual details that I've typed in or by the date to get a timeline of the, the health conditions. I can also filter it if I, by default, it's showing all the health conditions, but I, if I do only want to see, if I only want to see the person's ear conditions, I can click on that and it'll filter it and only show me the ear conditions for that person. But I'm going to go ahead and leave that on all. Okay, so that's all it takes to enter health conditions for a person, and you can do that for every person in your file. So now we have a couple of reports which help make use of these health conditions. So I'm going to go ahead and select a person. I'm going to say I want to do a health, uh, I want to do a health history for this person. So I'm going to select the person. I'm going to go into the publish page, go into reports, and I am going to select the family health history. And I'm just going to pick use the defaults and generate this family health history for for Marshall. And now I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see it in a little bit more detail what it includes. Okay, so what it's going to include is the person, the person's siblings and children, and then it's going to have a section for the person's father's family. So the father, his father, and then the father's father and mother, and then the father's siblings, and then the same thing for the mother, the mo his mother, the starting person's mother, her father and mother, and her siblings. So it's basically about three generations worth of family health history that all basically relate back to this starting person. For each person in this report, it's going to list all of their health conditions that you've entered. It's going to include the condition. It's going to include the details that you entered. If you entered a note, it's going to include that note. And then it's also going to include the age that that person was when that condition began. Okay, for each person, it's also going to list their death age, the age they were when they died, if they died. If they didn't die, obviously it's not going to put a death. And if they, if you've entered a death uh, cause, it's also going to include the death cause. It's going to have the death, the cause, and then the age uh, for that person as well. Now, there are some options over here that we can choose from. Uh, one of these options is whether or not you want to include names of relatives. So, for example, let's say you were printing a health history for yourself and you wanted to take it to the doctor so that the doctor could kind of see your health history, well you might not want all of your family's names in here so you can just say don't include the names of the relatives and it's basically we regenerate it and it's going to basically give you that same report except it's not going to list the names of anybody except for that starting person yourself in this example. Okay I can also tell it, okay, I really don't need all those notes that I entered, so I can uncheck that and I get the same report just without the notes. Okay, now maybe I don't want all of these, all of these uh, siblings and children and other family members that don't have any, um, that don't have any health conditions entered. If I don't want them to print, in other words, to keep it more brief, I can uncheck that and I get, a, I get a much, much more brief version of that same report, and it's only including the people who I've actually entered uh, health conditions for. Now, you may want to continue to include the relatives with no conditions because that does still give you information like the age at death, you know, which could be useful information to, to a doctor. Finally, there's an option whether or not you want to include living relatives. If you, don't, if you want to filter out your living relatives, you can filter them out as well. Now by default also, this report uh, includes every, every fa uh, health condition, but maybe you only want one particular health condition. So maybe I am only interested in cardiovascular. In other words, I'm taking it to a heart doctor, so I only need uh, cardiovascular and I'm going to not print the notes and I'm not going to include that. Okay, and when I do that, 
it's basically going to give me that same report, but it's only going to show me the people who I actually have the specific uh, health condition that I'm interested in. Okay, if you're going to cancer a cancer clinic, you know you might want to only include only include the the uh, the family members who you have cancer uh, health conditions entered for. Okay, last report I'm going to show you here is the health conditions list. This is basically just kind of a catch-all list, and what this does is this just creates a list of everybody in your file that has health conditions. Whereas that previous one, that previous report was only like a three generations right around a starting person. This is going to give you everybody in the file that has a health condition. And so this is going to give you all health conditions in the entire database, but you can also filter that to choose which people you want to include. So if you only want to include certain people, you can do that. It also lets you filter like the previous one to down to a singular single type. So if I only want cardiovascular again, I can get only the cardiovascular health conditions that I have entered in my database. And finally, you have details. And this lets you filter it down one extra level. So for example, if I enter, selected cardiovascular, I might have a bunch of people with heart disease or stroke or, you know, or whatever. And I, but I may only be interested in only the people that had a heart attack. And so if I had entered heart attack as the details for those, I would just put heart attack in for the details and it's going to give me a list filtered down to just that, those, specific, those specific ones. So I hope, you've, I hope you find this useful and I hope that you've enjoyed this, uh, this little demonstration and we'll talk to you again soon.